right, here we go. Joining us now, the head coach of your UMass All Basketball, Reverend Hugs, Greg Herendon. Coach, welcome. Thank you, Bob. What is this game about? Does it come down to one or two things? I think in March, you know, in NCAA tournament basketball, you have to play defense. And we're playing against the number one offensive team in the Northeast 10 in St. Rose. They score the ball from the perimeter. They get to the foul line. They've got a big guy, Hanacek, that can score the basketball. So if we don't defend, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. And they're, they're very, very good offensively. And I think we're good offensively. But, but uh, our stance will be to stop St. Rose, first and foremost. And if we do that, we'll have a chance to beat them. when these two teams met a high scoring game. Do you take your chances on a high scoring game or do you feel a lot better if we're looking at a, at a score in the 60s and 70s? Well, I, I feel better if we score a lot of points and they don't, but I, I, I think that the, the tempo of the game will be dictated by making shots. If we make shots and the game gets up and down, we can play that way, but we can also play a half court defensive team. So um, it's going to be exciting, but it, it's going to get down to defense. And I know it sounds cliche-ish, but it's, it's, it's the truth. And, and if we don't stop them, it's going to be hard to outscore them. So I think, uh, you know, they're a good defensive team and we're a good defensive team. I think the statistics, statistics prove that they're a better offensive team than defense and conversely with us. So uh, I'm just putting our money on, on, on good defense. And, and then we have to rebound the basketball as well. We're young. A lot of guys are going through this tournament for the first time. So we'll see how they are. But right now we've had a good few days of practice leading up in, to the game. And I, I think we're, we're prepared and our kids are excited. And I, I think we're going to put our best foot forward. St. Rose being a three-guard offense, does it present any unique problems, or now we've seen it, we'll deal with it? This is a league of perimeter players, so but but not this good. I mean, Pope, uh, Gutierrez, and Bromiski are real. They, they each kid could score 30 points in the game, and usually that's not the case. Now we had a night where we scored 21 points. We had three guys score 21, so we've got guards that can play as well. But we have a lot of respect for them and, and their offensive abilities. But, you know, I, I, I like my team. I, I, I've said it the whole year I'm not crazy about computers. We earned our way in here. We won 10 out of 13 games coming into the tournament. But now everyone, the 64 teams that are in the field are 0-0, zero and zero, and we need to, to get number one. the last thing you say to this team before the opening tap? Hard work. We always say one, two, three, hard work. And that's what it's about. We got here by hard work. No one handed us this. We were picked ninth and we lost our point guard and everyone thought, you know, you know, these guys are probably going to, you know, if we could be 500, it'd be good. And we never accepted that. We've had a lot of goals and we've reached a lot of the goals. And we're in a position where, you know, we want to get to the next level and and create more goals as as each day goes on. But we have to win this game against St. Rose to uh, to achieve any of them. But but I'm I'm I'm, I'm real happy with our kids and, and what they've done this year. But, but we want to go further and further.